Hello and welcome to this video for Mesh Moon. In this video we're going to be showing you how to use Presys using the Rocket Client. So to use Presys what we do is we go up to the top left hand corner of the Rocket Client and we're going to select our Session button here and in the Session menu we simply click on Mesh Moon Presys. When you open Presys for the first time, it'll take a few seconds to download the 3D environments, which you can see here. You will need to be online in order for the 3D environments to download, but once they are downloaded, uh, you can use these offline. So the next thing that we're going to do is, as you can see here, it's going to ask you to drop in a PDF or PowerPoint presentation. So what we can do is either drag and drop our presentation onto this area here, or we can click on this area here and select the PowerPoint or PDF presentation that we want to use. So I've got a folder here with a PDF that I want to import, so I can simply drag and drop our presentation right here. And when you drag and drop the presentation onto this area, it's going to take a few seconds to convert the file to a suitable 3D format. So keep in mind, once this presentation is imported, there are no traces left of this file online. So this way it keeps all of your data and important information safe. Now that the presentation has been imported and converted, the file is usable offline. And so the next thing that I can do is go ahead and select my 3D environment. So here I'll go ahead and select my 3D environment. And when I'm all done and I have my presentation imported, I can click on this check button here to start my presentation. So you'll notice that the presentation has started and in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I can click on start. And it's going to take you through your 3D environment here. And you'll notice as we go through our 3D environment that we'll see each page of our PDF document or presentation. So now using the arrow keys on the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I can go ahead and go to the next scene on my 3D environment. So I can use these keys to navigate through the 3D environment and look at my presentation. In addition to having controls to navigate from slide to slide, going forward, and you can also of course go backward, it's going to show you the duration of the time that you've been viewing the presentation as well. So having this time duration in the bottom right hand corner of the program is very useful, especially if you have a presentation where you already have a predetermined amount of time that you're allotted to do the presentation. So it can help you track your time. Once you get to the final slide, we can click on next and it's going to take us to our overview. So basically once you get to the overview screen it's just going to pan across your 3D environment. So at this point if we like we can go back and view previous slides or if we're done we can click the X button in the bottom left hand corner of our program. And that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you use Presys on the Rocket Client from MeshMoon. Uh, and just to reiterate again here, whenever you're importing a presentation, either a PowerPoint document or a PDF document, remember that you do need to be online as the document is being imported and converting. Once the document is converted, you will no longer need to be online and a copy of that will be saved onto that machine. If you change to a different machine, you will need to re-import the document and then once it's imported, again it will be available offline. And also anytime there are new 3D environments to download, you will need to be online in order to download these 3D environments. Once all of the 3D environments that you need have been imported into the Rocket Client, you'll be able to use them offline and again you will not need internet access. And remember again that MeshMoon's Rocket Client is the most secure way to create 3D presentations as it keeps all of your files stored locally but does not expose any of your important information online because it doesn't keep any files online that can be compromised. All the files are stored locally once imported and converted right on your device. And that's going to be it for this tutorial on how to use Presys using the MeshMoon Rocket Client. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and have a great day.